Hey guys, it's Jane here from Lazy Gaming. This video, we're going to be looking at the North Star Titan. Now, you can see all of its different abilities and stuff in that opening clip, which is technically the sort of overview of this Titan given to us by the game. But I'm going to sort of break down the rest of the stuff that we saw and sort of give you my opinions on what to use, what not to use, best Titan setup, and more. So, first, we're going to talk about the primary weapon for this Titan, which is the Plasma Railgun. So, this weapon is sort of like a six shot sniper and it ends up doing more damage the longer you're zoomed so this titan is actually very good for long range just getting shots into people picking people off slowly especially in last titan standing you want to weaken those titans a lot before they can even get close to you so by using this ability you can shoot enemies at a long range because this titan is honestly relatively weak up close with the exception of its um, specialist which is the flight core other than that though it's relatively weak up close the secondary is the cluster missile which creates sustained explosions on impact and what I'd recommend is using the enhanced payload which basically means that the explosions are more effective and last longer for the cluster missile I mean you could also use stuff like the Viper thruster piercing shot twin traps and threat optics but none of those really do increase damage they just for example, piercing shot is like FMJ, you can shoot through titans. Uh, twin trap is when you fire your um, L1 or sort of grenade, it fires a mine that basically just sticks to the face of the titan when they walk over it and prevents them from moving. So with this titan's enhanced movement because it has two dashes, it enables you to get away from them quickly and if you drop that behind you, you can really get away from them even faster. But because this Titan has an advantage already with two dashes, I'd recommend even running Turbo Engine, which gives this Titan a third dash, which can make it just move across the map so quickly. And especially if you're trying to take those long range shots, you can take a shot and then dash behind cover, and the enemy won't really be able to hit you. Something else that I recommend is either the Overcore, which makes your Titan start with 30% core build time. Now, this is pretty useful, but like I'll talk about later, the um, core for this Titan is relatively weak. The flight core is relatively weak. However, when you start with 30% core build time, it enables you to start with your electric smoke, which I mean, when it's super hectic and coin in your Titan, you can just pop that right when you spawn in. And it's really useful for getting a quick kill or two or being able to just get away from that hectic area where you called in your Titan. Now, nuclear ejection is also very popular, however, I don't really like focusing on what my Titan can do after I'm dead. I like to get killed while I'm in my Titan, but the nuclear ejection is really awesome. And yeah, those are pretty much the ones I'd recommend, either Turbo Dash, Overcore, or Nuclear Ejection for this Titan. And then lastly, for the Titanfall kit, I mean Dome Shield or Warp Fall are sort of both pretty good. Warp Fall is a bit weak because it still takes two seconds to call on your Titan, it's not instantaneous. But if you use Warp Fall paired with Overcore, you can Warp Fall and then call in your smoke right away, which is something I'd recommend. If you're a bit more passive and you want that security, I'd recommend using Dome Shield on this Titan because it basically means that you won't be able to get shot while you're jumping into your Titan and it's a lot easier for your Titan to escape that hectic area. Now the last thing, sort of the special move with this Titan is the VTOL Hover which means you can sort of jump up in the air and do a vertical maneuver, which I mean surprisingly surpri is insanely effective because you surprise people a lot when you add that extra verticality to the gameplay. However, one thing is that you can't jump down right away. So once you're up there, you're up there for a little bit. So enemies might be able to shoot you and stuff, but if you're just jumping over a building to pop a sniper shot at an enemy, it's extremely useful. And lastly, let's talk about the flight core. So this basically, you hover up in the air and unleash rockets at the targets below. Now, I have had trouble hitting a nice clip with this. Um, the best I did was on Last Titan Standing, I got like two or three kills with it. I wasn't recording, but that's really the best I could do. After this recording, I'm gonna go and try to get more clips with it in Last Titan Standing. But honestly, it's really not that useful. If you have a ton of infantry around you, you can use it. But I just find that the missiles are so weak that it's really weak especially when compared to other Titans cores, like the Laser Core, Shield Core, 
I mean sword core and stuff like that. It's just extremely weak. However, other than that, this Titan is relatively strong. It's the Titan that have ranked up the most because its mobility is just extremely high. The last thing is, is that its health is weak. So, I mean, you're going to want to be using that mobility because you're going to be taken out a lot quicker than other Titans. And I recommend even grabbing batteries from other Titans to enhance your health because without that, you're just going to get annihilated by the other Titans. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below. And don't forget to tell me what Titan you want to see next in these Titan guides. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.